Good morning, everybody, and hello from Ireland. I'm here with Nico, my parents, Ray and Rita, and we are on our Ireland tour with my friend Stephen Philomy. We're about to get onto jaunting cars in Killarney, which is a horse and carriage that's traditional. They've been doing these journeys out into the national park for over 100 years. So we're going to go out there and check it out. It's a little rainy, but it is Ireland after all, right? So shall we go? No. No, let's not go. <laughs> All right. You can always take it off. This is a hanky panky yeah, blanky. It's pretty warm. Irish tourist board approved hanky panky blanket. Oh. <laughs> yeah, definitely get a picture of that. Which you need yeah, even in June. <laughs> no hanky panky. Looking cozy. <laughs> is it cozy, Nico? Very cozy. Alrighty. <laughs> So we've got Jacko, our horse here, and Eric, our driver, and we are ready to go. Hey. All inside here, folks, all the Kalani National Park is going to be left. We'll be inside there one minute all away from the public track. Jacko here, he's seven years old. He started when he was four. He worked till about 18, lived generally till about 35. So about 17 years retirement. Types native Irish red deer and also small little Japanese Siki deer. They look like bamboo small but white box in the back. We'll see them now later on. This is the largest national park in all of Ireland. Other than that, there's foxes, rabbits, squirrels, badgers, hare, other smaller ones. We've got no predators in the park, so it's great. Oh. Friends. So they just chill out anywhere in the park, but they mainly like to stay in this field. So we got lots of shelter and we got lots of lots of feed. They are just not bothered by us at all. <laughs> I put him there this morning. Oh, sure. oh did you? Okay. You know? <laughs> Okay, I'll be back later. You, you just keep it right here. Bambi! Hey. Yeah. Okay, I tried that one. No, you forgot us hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> They're the Japanese sea keepers now, so they are folks. They were introduced in the late 1800s by English landlords, unfortunately for hunting purposes. Now, they're all protected in the park. Look up here now again, look, this is Bambi's brother. doing the boat ride. It's a horse and carriage ride and a boat ride. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Was that yesterday? No, that was going back 25th of March. Oh, right here. <laughs> this trip of the road, yeah? Wow. Yeah. We, we, had, we had come through out of the first carriage. There's about eight carriages behind us now. Three miles wide. Roughly 350 feet deep. Lake of Learning? Lake it? of Learning due to one of the islands having the first ever university in Europe on it. Wow. 
Oh uh, yes, Brian Brew, the last High King of Ireland, was educated there in the 11th century. It was destroyed years later by a, a mean visitor we had here, Oliver Cromwell, in the year 1652. They say he broke up more homes than Elizabeth Taylor. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <Hello, baby. laughs> So yeah, the bottom of this lake runs down to Dingle to the ocean, so the fish do come up from Dingle and spawn in our lake. We have brown trout, rainbow trout, wild Atlantic, centimeter grass grow, lime dust, fertilizer, mix it with water, you get white paint, you mix it with sand and water, and you get mortar for building, limestone mortar. Yeah. Yeah. Limestone kiln. Here's the cutaway of the limestone rock from the left hand side in here. Caution cat up the back, tip it into the top. Along with the archway in the bottom, about four days later, dust form. Straight ahead here, we got ABC, another bloody castle. <laughs> <laughs> Built in 1410, again destroyed by Cromwell in 1652. He was here for nine months in total, folks, here around, around Ireland, just destroying and making people's lives hell. Okay, you go in. Go in, go in. A line here, folks. The white, that's the Queen Anne's lace, the white. The purple head there, where the thistles. And these white stems, that's all wild irises. They bloom in the yellow flower. At the start of May, they die at the end of June. Beautiful. Inside here now, you see the stone building with the water in it? Do you know what that is? <laughs> no, <laughs> Jacko, it's not that. <laughs> That's a Leprechaun's Olympic swimming pool. Oh, there you go. You see them after eight pounds of Guinness. So we just finished our jaunting car ride that Stephen arranged here in Killarney and it was really fun but tell us a little bit about jaunting cars. So jaunting cars are synonymous with Killarney, have been for probably 140 years ever since Queen Victoria came on holidays here and the Jarvies, these men who drive the carriages here, these little horses and carriages, they're called Jarvies and their great grandparents, great great grandparents have been taking tourists here since Victorian times. So it's, it's, it's the, one of the must do things in Killarney. I always like to put our guests on a jaunting car and go through this beautiful national park. And the Jarvies are cool because they're great storytellers and they can tell you on the one hand about the leprechauns or on the other hand they can name the trees in Latin as well. So they're very nice diverse knowledge base there. So and it's a good cheap way to see Killarney's National Park. And then I like to start in the middle of town and then we come down through the park by the lakes which are just here and uh, finish up here at Ross Castle. That's the fantastic. O'Donoghue clan's castle which was lost to Cromwell in the 1640s. Wow. So that was really fun. We got a history lesson. We got to see a beautiful park. This is really a must do when you come to Ireland, I think, right? I think so. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so Killarney, I know some people think it's a little touristic, but honestly, my group loved it. And they have music at night. It was, I just thought it was a lot of fun to come to Killarney. Um, so it's definitely something you should do, if you, especially if you like the countryside, right? Yes, and Killarney is a national winner of the Tidy Towns contest back in, I think, 2011. There's good civic pride here as well. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. So thanks for arranging that, Stephen. Oh, my pleasure. That was a really good thing. So this, this is Jaunting Cars in Killarney. So thanks for joining us for another adventure. And if you want to go to Ireland, Stephen is your man. EssentialIrelandTours.com, right? I think so. All right. Thanks, everybody.